This has got the fix-it guide. Today we have a gas dryer that isn't heating. This will be a really easy fix. Usually it's due to a little thermal fuse that blows and it's usually due to the um, vent tube being a bit obstructed. I'm pulling back on this 220 outlet. I'm sorry, this is, this is an electric dryer and I'm putting my meter in here to test voltage and I found that I have 240 volts, so I know I have the right amount of power going in. So that's not the reason that it isn't drying. I'm gonna unplug it and see if it's that little thermal fuse. So the gas dryers and the electric dryers both have the same type of thermal fuses that protect it from overheating, and they usually overheat due to the vent tube being obstructed. So I'm removing these quarter inch screws from the back panel and then I'll just pull the back panel off and that's going to give me access to a couple of different thermal protectors or thermal fuses. And you just need a multi-tester that can test continuity. The continuity is testing whether electrons can flow through the thermal protectors or if they've been tripped to protect the dryer from overheating. Then you have to either replace them or reset them. This video will show how to do a reset. So once you get all those fasteners off, you can pull the panel towards you. Again, make sure it's unplugged. And then you're gonna set your multi-tester for continuity. This has a little auditory beep that'll tell me if the fuse is good. First one I'm gonna check is down here on the blower housing. And it shows that there is continuity. Now I'm gonna go on the outside terminals of the thermostat. That's showing that there is continuity. Now I'm going to go up here on the heat stack, and this one does not have continuity. So this is the one that blew. These are the ones down at the heater element. I'm testing the heater element. It shows it has good continuity. And the thermal protector down at the bottom also has good continuity. So just one of them blew. It's the one up here at the top. It's going to be easy to reset it. You can either replace it or reset it. So I'm going to pull off the spade connectors. Then I'm going to pull out one quarter inch screw that's holding it into position. So just zip that one out and you can pull this one out. And I'm just going to test it one more time. Yeah, and the electrons can't flow through there and that's why it cut off the power going to the heating element. So it's an interesting way to reset it. What you do is go out to a hard surface like concrete. Again, I'm going to test it, no continuity. And then you're going to grab it with a pair of pliers. I'm going to bang it down onto the concrete pretty hard a couple times, and that will reset it. Then you give it a test to see if you can hear the electrons flowing through. You get the beep. Yeah, there we go. And also we have a uh, resistance reading. So I had to hit it pretty hard a couple of times, but that did the trick. So now we can reinstall it. Problem is though, something caused the thermal fuse to trip. And that's most likely there's something caught in the dryer vent tube, like an accumulation of lint. So we're going to use a special lint eater tool hooked to the drill. We're going to spin in there and remove whatever we can. In this case, I found that somebody at one point had put a bunch of little toys down in here, probably a little kid, and there were three or four um, round balls and plastic ornaments that I pulled out. And that's what was keeping the hot air from leaving the dryer. And it was backing up and causing the heater to get too hot and to protect it from a fire, the thermal fuse tripped. So when you reset the thermal fuse, it's great, but it won't do any good unless you can figure out why it tripped. Uh, putting the thermal fuse back in, I've got it in uh, the top, the little pin goes in, and then here at the bottom I'm going to put in this quarter inch screw and reconnect it. I'm going to put the spade connectors back on securely. 
There we go. And then I can go ahead and just put that back panel back on. I sped up the camera here a little bit. But just take your time here and put them in one by one. Make sure you get them all back in. If you leave out a couple, it doesn't hurt anything, but it tends to rattle. And that should do the trick. The only other thing you could do that will help also is to do the vent cleaning from the outside. And that's similar. Use the same lint eater tool, but you come in from the outside of the vent. And now I'm going to just reconnect the vent tube back on. Get it on securely. These vent eater eater tools are about $25 to $30. You can get them at Amazon. And they come with 12 foot extension. So I'm going to put the power back in and then test it out. The outside you should feel like a, like a hair dryer in terms of volume of air. So I wasn't getting that feel so I knew that there was probably more of an obstruction. So now I'm cleaning out with the lint eater tool. If you have more than a 12 foot uh, span you can buy extensions for it and you can put in another 12 feet but that did the trick we got the obstruction out dryers working good hopefully this will be helpful to you and thanks so much for watching and please subscribe when you get a chance